my name is Jeremiko Edwards. I am from Detroit, Michigan. Uh, I was hired in the business by Stephen Davies. And so we are going to get into what this business is all about. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story and how I came into the alliance. Um, and then we're going to get into what the business can do for you. I mean, because we're going to talk about, I got, I got some more winners on here and we can all talk about what the business did for us. But um, the main thing is how how can you benefit from it? How can this business help you and change your life like it has so many people uh, throughout the United States of America? So um, we appreciate everybody being here. Um, so just, just a little bit of background about me. So I am in Detroit, Michigan. Please don't laugh. We are still on lockdown. I know it's upsetting. We cannot come out to play. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Y'all just keep praying for us. Um, it would be okay. 15 more days. We'll be out of jail. 15 more days. 15 more days. So. Um, I, I, I will be filming how the streets will be after we're off lockdown because people are getting sick and tired of being in the house. So we're looking forward to that. But hey, we're still conducting business. Um, the governor of Michigan has deemed our business essential. So that's why we have been still going throughout this pandemic. And so, um, you know, we're going to just talk about kind of what we're what we've been experiencing. But other, again, just a little bit of background about me. So I'm 37 years old, single father. Um, I have two beautiful girls. They're six and eight. And um, they are just they are just super quiet and they're good. And they want daddy to succeed. All right. So I have to succeed for them. Um, I'm going to make it happen for them. But um, before this business, I worked in the factory. So I worked for Lear Corporation, L-E-A-R Corporation. And we did the instrument panels and the... Um, and the steering wheel, like we did that whole thing for Chrysler GM and four cars. And so it was a, it was a big change for me going from, well, coming from the factory and then doing sales, uh, doing something like this where you get to help people, you got to talk to people. It was a big change. And um, good news is we have the leadership and we have a system here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go over the, the system here in a second. But um, if I didn't have that system, I couldn't have broke free from the plantation. Yeah, that's what they call it, the plantation. <laughs> so I was I was a forklift driver in the factory. Um, so being a forklift, I did have to get a license. And, um, you know, they had us do all these rigorous trainings, like driving around cones. And, you know, they had us lift the forklifts up and down, drive with them up, drive with them down. And, you know, you had to be careful not to hit anybody. You know, there was there were people who, you know, had bodies on their forklift, you know, when they left the factory, you know, with bodies, body. If you get a body on your forklift, I mean, you don't hurt somebody. You know, so the goal was to get out there, you know, to 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 leave the factory without having bodies on your forklift. Right, so you got to be careful. You gotta you gotta have sense. You gotta know how to drive. So I, I did pretty good. All right, so um, I was a forklift driver, and um, I had to be there. I had to be at the factory from six a.m. to four p.m. From six a.m. to four p.m. Um, now the four p.m. was the mandatory overtime. So my regular schedule was two. But the 4 p.m. was the mandatory overtime. We had a lot of mandatory overtime. If you ever worked in a factory, it's like you don't own your time. When they tell you you got to work, you work. If So in, in our factory, you get 10 points and you're fired. <laughs> so we didn't have any vacation time. Like I'm, I'm always envious of these people that come with these good jobs. I'm pretty sure one of my guests on here, they're going to have a good job or they have vacation days. They have sick days. We didn't have any of that. We were like, <laughs> I mean, it was like you. Either you gonna be there or either you get fired. Um, but it was, I was always dreaming of more freedom. I was always dreaming that I had more money and I was always dreaming that I had more time. Um, so some of the questions that I asked myself, like one of these questions on here is, are you tired of your boss controlling your life? That was where I was. Um, the mandatory overtime almost killed me. Like I, like I would have things planned after work and um, it, they would they would call mandatory overtime and I couldn't I couldn't make whatever I had. Like maybe, maybe you're going through something similar to where it's like your boss is just controlling your life and you can't you can't control your own time. I didn't like that. Uh, we had we had an hour. No, I'm sorry. We had 30 minutes for lunch. Now, I did my research. I found out that criminals had an hour for lunch. I'm thinking, wait a minute. We got 30 minutes for lunch. Criminals got an hour. So I'm not right with that. <laughs> so that's what that's what got my wheels to turn. That's why I started looking at a business like this. Got my wheels to turn. And also I wanted fun and flexibility. Um, 
what I saw when I went to the factory, what I saw was people were standing in line for concert tickets. They had free time to do extra stuff. They were taking vacations. I couldn't figure out how to take a vacation because every time I got ready to take a vacation, it's like they would always slap points on my record. So I, I couldn't I couldn't figure out the fun and flexible part. And I was like, I always wanted fun and flexibility. Um, and the last question, the last question is on this paper is, uh, have you ever felt like you weren't being paid what you were worth? Now that, <laughs> listen, that was the last straw for me. I remember, I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I worked a double shift. I said, you know what? I'm not making enough money. I'm going to beat the game. I'm going to work a double shift. I'm going to pull a double. <laughs> and I'm going to be rich. Once I work these doubles, I'm going to be rich at the end of this week. So I worked every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I worked from sun up to sundown. I got there at 6 a.m. Uh, when I got ready to leave, there was like, you know, Jermico, you going home? Nope, not going home. I'm going to work the second shift. I worked the first and second second shift. I did that for a week straight. It was like seven days straight. I didn't have any sleep, didn't have no life, didn't have nothing going on. I got I got to Friday. The next Friday after that, I got to Friday, they gave me my check. And I was like, boy, when I open this baby up, I'm going to be super rich. I'm going to have like $2,500. I ain't going to know do my stuff. Guess what? I get my check. And that sucker said it was like $1,250. What? You mean to tell me I bust my behind for 12? I was looking around for the hidden cameras. You know, hidden camera show. I like. I knew, I knew I was in the hidden camera show. I was like, some, Ashton Kutcher would jump out somewhere. Something, something, something going to happen. Somebody going to jump out. I was looking. Nobody jumped out. That was my whole check. It was like $1,200. I, I sold my soul that week for $1,200. I said, my, my parents... My parents, God bless them. Not, like they, they said, get a good job. My, my father was big on working in the factory. Um, he said, get a good, safe job, and uh, they'll take care of you. They got benefits and everything. And I followed what my father said. But I was just like, when I got that, when I gave him my all, and I got that check, and it was twelve hundred dollars, and I gave my whole life up. I said, you know what? I have been led astray. I have been bamboozled. I have been run amok. Plymouth Rock landed on me. Uh, get your hands out of my pocket, all that good stuff. I was thinking all that stuff. I was like, look, something got to change. I I was complaining about uh, what was going on. I was trying to figure out my way. And uh, I was talking to my friend and uh, he said, hey, this is a guy in North Carolina. <laughs> he's making millions of dollars. Stephen Davies. So he's making millions of dollars. I was not skeptical. I knew there was people making millions of dollars. I just couldn't figure out how to get to it. So he gave me Stephen Davies' number. Um, I called Stephen Davies, and he said, hey, there's a meeting going on in Troy, Michigan. So I went to Troy. I saw Andy Albright. Um, he's, he's the CEO of the company. He founded the company. Uh, he built it from his ground, from, from his basement to now there's a, um, he owns a whole zip code in Burlington, North Carolina. So I met Andy Albright, and um, man, it was that was the game changer right there. So I met him and I was driving home with my friend and, you know, Andy at the meeting, Andy was talking about traveling and eating good. And just, um, he was speaking my language because <laughs> I had never heard these things. He, he was talking about a restaurant called Ruth's Chris. I never been to Ruth's Chris. What I know is I got tired of eating Golden Corral. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that was a good time out. You go, to, you know, if you get to go to Golden Corral, you're doing good. So, but then Andy came, he was talking on a whole nother level. He's talking about these steakhouses. And it was just, I said, you know what, wherever that guy's going, I'm in because he knows something I don't know. So I'm driving home with my friend and he's, uh, he's just saying how, oh man, I think it's a scam and this, this, and this. And I said, you know what? I said, bro, I'm in. He's like, well, didn't you hear what I said? I said, yeah, I know. One thing I know is you ain't got no money. You don't have any money. And this guy was talking about traveling and everything. So if I'm going to believe somebody, <laughs> if I'm going to shift the sway, guess what? I'm going to shift to the guy talking about the jets and the traveling the world because you celebrate Lent, my brother. What is Lent? I mean, you got Lent in your pocket. And I ain't trying to have a bunch of Lent in my pocket. I'm trying to have some money. I'm trying to have some money. All right. So Andy was talking good. He said he was going to travel in the world. And I was like, I'm in. Um, now, <clears throat> it's interesting how how one little change like that because some people you'll be shocked how many people talk to their friends about what they should do 
And I will tell you, if you take your friend's opinions, you will have their life. So how is their life? You know, like my friend at that time, like his wife didn't like him. He ain't making the money. Like he wasn't making the money. I was like, I ain't listening to you. I'm listening to Andy Albright. So I got signed up. My first commission check was like $416. It was amazing. I drove, I drove an hour and a half. I was fired up. I drove an hour and I got licensed, drove an hour and a half. I was fired up, helped this couple. And um, they were, they were happy. I was happy. And it was like $416. And I said, man, I'm rich. I'm rich. You rich off $416? I, I was rich in the fact of I had hope. I had a chance to not be a slave at a job. I had a chance to build my own business. I had a chance to be a, a, a business owner. Um, I, had, I, had, I had more opportunity than what I had working at the factory. And it was $416. And I said, I'm going to multiply the sucker numerous times. So it, it was... Uh, it's been an amazing ride since I've been in the business. I've made a little over $800,000. Um, and it's just like, I, I, there's no limit to what we're going to do over these next few years. Like I'm aiming for 300,000 this year. Um, I, I, I pulled my income report. I was, I was trying to apply for a bigger place and uh, I had to pull my income for the last four weeks. And I was like, I was telling my sister, I was like, is there any way we can shrink this down? Cause I, you know, I don't want these people to know how much money. <laughs> You know, it was like it was like twenty three thousand for the last four weeks. Um, so so you you can make it happen. You can make it happen. This business absolutely changed my life. We're going to kind of go over the system. What I saw when I went to the meeting that night um, and then we're going to see if you're a good fit for us. I mean, that's because the main thing is we're just looking for good people. If you're a good person and you want to run a business, and you're sick and tired of running around. Um, you know, here's a place for you. So now what do we do? So so we are National Agents Alliance. Um, and we are, we are, we are a marketing organization. We work with a lot of different carriers. So Mutual of Omaha, Transamerica, Forrester, CFG. All right. So we work with all these insurance companies and our job is just to, you know, we're just field underwriters. Our job is to help people fit into one of these programs with one of these companies. So, so with our system, we have a lot of people waiting on us to help. And our job is just to go help them. OK, so now why do we mention the multimillion dollar companies? Well, because they're like our big brothers. So anybody that want to research what we do, it's just like you call Mutual of Omaha, call Forces, call these people and ask them about the alliance. They'll tell us that we we write the most business out of anybody. Why? Because we have a good culture. We're going to talk about the culture a little later. But just understand um, that we have a system in place for you. So so these carriers are the ones that's going to help these people. Um, you know, in, in their time of crisis. So, so what's the opportunity? So we got these carriers lined up. Uh, we know who we are. You know, we help people with life insurance and fixed annuities. If you don't know the importance of life insurance, um, I mean, you got to do more research, like, especially with this COVID going out. I had, I had about three death claims in the past two weeks or so. And uh, it's, it's, it's amazing the things that we do. We're able to cut checks to people. We're able to help families. It's amazing how we can help people. So we're doing a good service for the community. And then we also help people with their retirement. Um, so we help people, um, people who's losing money in the market. We help keep that money safe so that, so that, again, they can still roll that money over to their children. Because people, people don't want to save up for retirement and then all of a sudden everything just fall off or either get lost in the market. So we're there to help people with that. Um, also, we do Mets, Mets up. Uh, we do H, HMAs. We do, we do a lot of stuff to help people. Our goal now, like we, we do so much to help people. We, how we train our agents is getting on. Get in the home so you can find out what's going on. Anything that's happening after that, we can help them. Anything they need, we can help them. We can help them with you know, with health care, we can help them with life insurance, we can help them with their retirement. Um, you know, we can help them, you know, if they get laid off from their job, we can help them with employment, you know, because again, we're hiring. So it's like any, get in the house. That's our goal. We can help anybody we want. All right. So what's the opportunity? Uh, so we got a lot of baby boomers. These are the people who we are looking to help uh, people who, you know, there's 10,000 of them turning 65 every day. So we're looking to help these people because they don't know what to do. A lot of, you know, you know, sometimes when they die, Uncle Sam take off, you know, take half the money in their bank accounts. And so we're trying to help people through life insurance and fixed annuities. That way their children are taken care of. All right. So the baby boomers, they 
Um, some of them racked up a lot of debt. And so they don't want to roll the debt to their family. They want to roll an inheritance. So that's where we come in. We can help them with that. All right. Now, <clears throat> we have a whole system. Okay, because here's what we found out. 100% of people going to die. So we have the market. We have the market for insurance. Again, the governor has deemed us essential. So no matter what's going on, you can get out right insurance. If another pandemic comes, again, just like we've, you know, we've all made money through this pandemic. If another pandemic comes, it's the same thing. We are essential business. Everything is essential. So now how do we do it? Now here's the system. Now that, this was what fired me up. When I came into this business, I didn't know my left shoe from my right shoe. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand anything because I, I worked in the factory. So when I had to come into a business about helping people, I was all in, but I didn't know what I was doing. So good news is they had a system in place and I could follow. So I'm the the um, system stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. All right. So if I had to figure everything out myself, it would have took me a lot longer to make the money I made. But good news is we had a system. So what's what are some things as part of our system? Well, we got a playbook. Um, so the playbook is real simple. Um, I don't have it with me, but pretty much it just talks about our values. Uh, if you want to know about us, just keep hanging around. Stick around, hang around us, and you'll see our values. Uh, it's uh, gratitude. Gratitude is one of our core values, and we are so grateful that we have the opportunity every day to get up and get after it. Okay. So, um, and the more you hang around us, the more you'll see those core values in our company. All right. Um, so, so what's another part of our system? Well, Andy Albright, he's been so, so gracious to make these books for us. Um, he has, he wanted to put his mind into books so that we can follow it. So what he did was he created these books, Eight Steps to Success. So this is, this is Andy Albright, Eight Steps to Success. It's the first book that he wrote and it's eight steps to any business. Anytime, anytime you want to get out of poverty, you know, you want to change your mindset, these are the eight steps you can follow. And it don't have to be this business. You can follow these steps for any business. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to get on Dancing with the Stars, you know, you want to be a rapper, or entertainer, so whatever you want to do, just follow these eight steps. Okay. What's the other book you made? Millionaire Maker Manual. This is how you make a million dollars. You come in, you follow this manual. It's green. <laughs> it's green for a million dollars. And he was Again, he was uh, not, he was, he was, um, what do you call it when you're not selfish? Anyway, <laughs> and he's not selfish. He created this book for us, How to Make a Million Dollars. And he made millions and millions of dollars. And he's like, okay, you want to make one million? Follow this book. You want to make, make three or four million? Follow this book. If you want to just, um, you know, if you want just enough to pay your bills, that's fine as well. Um, you know, whenever you change your mind, you just read this book, you're going to make your manual, and you'll take off like a rocket. Um Another book he made, Inside a Circle of You, this is another part of our system. Um, your mindset is a big thing when you come into this business. So that's so again, that's why we have a system because we all had a lot going on. Like when I was at the factory, a lot of that stuff was inputted into my head, a lot of the personalities, a lot of the a lot of their mindset was in my head. So if I wanted to ever go beyond twenty nine thousand, I only made twenty nine thousand a year at the factory. If I if I ever wanted to grow beyond that, I had to I had to change my association. I had to change the stuff I was reading. Because when I was in the factory, I, I was reading like men's health books. Um, I was reading like BET, Jet, stuff like that. Like that's the stuff I was reading. And I thought I was doing something by reading that stuff. But then you get you get books like this inside the circle of you. And Andy is saying, take 100% responsibility for your life. Take 100% responsibility for your life. Worry about the circle of you. Um, I started to look at life different. You know, like it was a lady, she was talking about how much money we owe China, you know, like how much money America owes China. And I say, you know what? That, that's that's not inside my circle. <laughs> I owe my car note. I owe Verizon Wireless. I got I got I got, you know, I owe my DTE bill like that's that's inside my circle. So I have to control what I can do. So what did I do last week? What did you do last week you know, before? You know, you know, again, that's another mindset I had to change, you know, blaming. Blaming everybody else, blaming the white man, blaming the black man, blaming my mama, blame my daddy. You know, it's like pe people just blame everybody. But when you read a book like this and he says, control the circle of you, it changes your whole perspective on life. And it helps you to do a business like this a lot better. 
All right, so this is another one of our tools right here. Now, what's another part? Uh, let's see, we got we got like the Alliance. We have a university that you can go to. Um, so if you're worried about training, don't worry, <laughs> because we have an Alliance University. And so what that is, is um, step by step, it'll take you through our process. Step by step, it'll tell you how to do what we do. It'll tell you about our products. It'll tell you how to sell them. It'll tell you about our phone calls, everything. Lions University is equivalent to an associate's degree. All right, so get on Lions University. I, people spend 30, 40,000. Like I, I did a year and a half of community college. Um, now at the factory, they paid for it. So that wasn't too bad for me. But um, man, I mean, it's people that owe 30, 40, 60, 100 thousands of dollars and they're not able to make what we're able to make here. All right, so our course, our course really helps you to um, make, make the money that you wanna make. We have hot spots all over the world. Um, they've been closed for a minute, but we're getting ready to open them back up. But we got six, it's like 67 hot spots throughout the United States. And what a hot spot is, is just a meeting where you go and get refreshed every single week. That's a big part of our system. You can go and hang around winners. <laughs> like I'm, I'm always shocked when I go to the hot spot and some people don't show up. Man, what a, where are you at? Like, what are you doing? Are you at home watching Care Bears? How, how can you grow and associate where you're not there? So we're so so you can come and get refreshed every week and hang around winners. You can learn the system. Um, you know, there's people there's people with like alcohol problems, things like that. They go to a meeting every single week so they can break that addiction. So I I, I was trying to break the addiction of poverty, you know, because sometimes you can come into this business with a poverty mindset. I have to break that addiction. So I have to be at my meetings every week because I can I can go back. I can start thinking poverty stuff, right? So I, I have to be in my meetings every week. I hope, you know, I hope we see you there as well. Um, so so we got the hot spots. We have Zoom calls like this, you know, you know, for people that's on lockdown. And uh, we, we just got a whole system in place to kind of help you through uh, this this whole, you know, uh, changing your mindset and trying to make things happen for your family. All right. So how do we get in contact with these people? Because here, here we know we have a system set up. We got the carriers, but now it's just like, okay, who who do we help? Do you got to call your family and friends? You should. You don't have to, but you should. Starting this business, we do have people for you to call. We have a lot of people for you to call. <laughs> All right. Now again, your family still needs what we have. That's how much we believe in it. Because you don't want to be the one at the funeral. And you have a license and then you didn't get them covered. All right. So your family still needs help. But we do have people for you to call. So these are called leads. We call them responders, actually. They actually fill these papers out. They put their information on it. They put their height, weight. Well, not this one. Let me see. Uh, so this one, this one, they actually called in. So we have one where you can put your height, weight, your first name, last name, all your information on it, and they mail it back into us. Sometimes they call us. Sometimes uh, we call them and they say, hey, you know, did you throw that out? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, I'm, you know, I'm sorry about that. I did want the coverage. So then we call. Them, all right. So we have many ways to reach people. <sighs> right now, just in Michigan, we're getting over 200 a week, 200 a week that we just like, we're trying to keep up. Now, keep in mind. Just because you help one family, they may refer you to their mother and father and their uncle, sister and brother. So we so now you understand why we need so much help, because not only are we getting a lot of responders in, you know, we get back, we mail out a million mailers. And so we get back one to two percent. Right. So we get back a lot of mail. So we need a lot of help. But then, you know, those ones you help, you have to help their family as well. <laughs> and then you got more families rolling in. So if you got a license, we need help. If you don't got a license, we need help. Get your license, all right? Um, yeah, so these, so again, these are people who responded. All you have to do is call them up. Our phone script is real simple. This guy's name, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, this is Jeremy Edwards. Um, I was giving you a quick call here about the response that you were looking for. You were looking for some quotes for your mortgage uh, for $155,000. Do you remember sending this in? Yeah, yeah, I remember sending that in. I've been waiting on you to call. Great. Sometimes you're going to call them. They ain't going to remember. That's fine. You just remind them of what they sent in. You say their height, weight. You just, you know, you calm them down. You remember um, you cannot be scared of people in this business. 
Um, you know, when I come in, I was scared of people. I had to learn how to not be scared of people. Once you learn that, some people come in with more confidence than what I came in. And, um, you know, we appreciate you. <laughs> you know, it's like we, we love to have you set a good example starting off. I did not set a good example starting off. Um, I made about I made about 40,000 my first year because I was scared of people. So I was I was fumbling all over the phone. Um, so you do have to explain to them a little bit if they forget. But it's OK. Look, we're going to help you through that. OK, so these are these are our responders. OK, so we got people for you to call and uh, people for you to help. All right. Now, we also have a way you can track your business because here's the thing. <laughs> You are 1099, you will be seen. You, know, you will set your own schedule, you'll set your own income. Whatever you want to make, you can make. This is our activity book. What this is, is you can track everything. So this is how we diagnose what you can improve in. It tracks your sales dials, tracks your contacts, your appointments, and everything. So it tracks what you need to improve on. So if if you need more money. You have to have more activity. You have to have more haystacks. Um, if you're crying that you don't have money and we look at your activity book and it's blank, guess what? If this is blank, your bank account is blank. So we're looking for people who can work. So can you work? Can you bring the thunder? Not just one week, but every single week. Are you willing to work and get out of whatever situation you're in? Because we have the system. We have the tools in place for you. All right. Now, what do you say when you go into the home? Real simple. <clears throat> we have an ATM. The ATM is you take this inside the home. It's like a flip chart. It goes over everything. Um, it talks about the carriers that we have. It, uh, it asks, it gives you certain questions to ask. And it just, it really helps the process go smooth. It really helps you to help people. And you can, you can calm down. You can stay on track. And um, it's, it's just an amazing system that we have. So. And so our job is just to go there and put our personalities into the ATM. We call it an ATM. Um, you know, we used to call it the Alliance Sales System. We didn't like that acronym, <laughs> so we changed it to ATM, all right, the Alliance Training Manual, okay, ATM. So you, you will take your ATM in the house and you come out, you help families, you make money, all right? So that's that's a big part of our system. So if you, oh, and the level, the, the agent levels chart. Oh my goodness. Working at the factory, I never knew how to get a raise. I didn't understand how to get a raise. I would work hard and I would I would take initiative on things, but I didn't know how to get in the upper echelon. Now I figured out later that, you know, when I went to college, they did try to promote me to HR. So I figured out that you do got to go to college. But um, other than that, there's no system on how to get a promotion. But here we have a system on how to get a promotion. You can go from you can start from the 55% you can go all the way up to 120% contract. Now, <clears throat> insurance is amazing. Understand, understand that you can make up. So if you write, uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I'll save that for later. <laughs> we'll go over that for later. Um, but just understand that's a big deal. When you get to 100% contract, big deal. All right. Now, now, how do we make money? That's the main thing. So, so we're going to get some winners on here, not now, but um, we're going to get some winners on here because it's one thing if I make good money, but if I can help other people make good money, and that's the system right there. That's the system. So how do we make money? It's real simple. You go out and you help these people. For every family you help, you take one of those leads, you go out and you sit with the family. Once you help the family, you got to get them approved. Okay, so you're going to, so we're going to train you on how to, on what to ask, what product to put them with. We're going to train on all that. Once you get the person approved, that's going to be $500 to you. Uh, well, okay, so let's say they, they write a policy for a $100 a month policy. You pretty much want to times 100 times five. So 100 times five, that will get you your commission. So, so if you write a $100 policy, times that by five, that's 500 bucks in your account. Do you understand how long it took me to make five hundred dollars in the factory? It took me forever. I was bringing home like four seventy five, and I was working like crazy. So when I was at my first meeting, and Andy said, "You go out and help people, you make five hundred dollars per family." 
again, I wasn't skeptical. I knew there were things out there where you can make money. I just couldn't figure out how I could get to it. I, I was not skeptical at all. I said, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm i in. Worst, worst case, worst thing that can happen. I never forget my friend said, like when he was saying, oh, well, you know, what if it's not this? I'm like, okay, so what if it's not? Okay, are they going to take like the what, the last $50 I got in my bank account? Like, what's the, what do I got to lose? I only have $50 in my bank account. <sighs> anyway, 500 bucks. He said $500. And, and all I got to do is help somebody. I said, listen, $500, for $500 for helping people, man, I cook dinner for them. I make the bed, like, do, like, what do I got to do to earn the five? So you mean to tell me all I got to do is sit and write a policy and help them out, and that's it? Like, I don't got to clean up their house. I don't got to, no, I don't just sit at the kitchen table and write a policy. I'm in. I'm in. Um, you know, you know, maybe you're like me. Maybe it's like, hey, I mean, like, some, some people go, ah, well, you know, that's not that much money. <sighs> Show me what you were doing. Because <laughs> I was like, man, I was fired up. And then you get to build a team. If you want to, you can build a team if you want to. Um, you can show other people how to do it pretty much. If you show people what you're doing, um, you can work your way up to an 85%. You work your way up to an 85%. So you're making 85% of what you make. And then you can make 5 to 8%. You can make 5%. If you help somebody else, you make another 8% for helping somebody else. Does that make sense? That's called override money. Override money. So there's people making twenty thousand, uh, fifty thousand. There's people making two thousand dollars of override money from helping other people. Okay, so you're so the guy that brought me into the business, I was fired up because I made five hundred dollars. He probably made a hundred and fifty. Um, he probably made two hundred dollars. I don't care because I was making $500. I will, I would much rather be an asset to somebody than a liability. So I was just like, whoever I was an asset to, I was looking at my bank account and I said, you know, I like what I see. So I don't really care, <laughs> but yeah, you, you can grow a team. You can help, you can help whoever you want. You could be a manager, you can start in a manager position. You can start helping people. You can help them grow the agency manager. They make 85%. You make an 85%. You go up to a 90%. You got that spread plus the glow bonus. Um, all this is on our website, so you can get into more of this then uh, as well. But just know, just know there's a system in place. Okay, like you can you can easily you can easily grow a team. Um, you know, let me see. You get you a team of about 20, 30 people, 20, 30 people. You can easily be making two hundred thousand a month in overrides. Two hundred thousand a month, like that's crazy talk. All right, so you have to get good. You have to get good at helping people and then you help other people. Um, the best way to do it is you bring in a bunch of people and then all y'all, every single person get licensed, every single person get trained, and then you all attack together. So now you got a team helping a bunch of people. The more people you help, the more your bills are covered. Are, are covered. The more things you can get done, the more people you help. So. I was not selfish. I started growing a team immediately. Um, I was looking at the money coming in my account. I said, you know what? Some people could use this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, start, I started talking to people. I started running ads. And um, I started growing a team. And I, I see the benefits because you can, you can have all the real estate in the world. You can have homes. You, know, you can own all this stuff. And it can kick off um, you know, residual income. But when you have a good quality agent, like when you have a good couple, a good solid couple, and they're having fun and you're changing their life, um, I mean, there's really, you know, there's really no, no, no other feeling in the world than seeing somebody's life change. So when you, you know, you come here and you see the money you can make and you help other people, it's amazing. Now, so you got to figure out for yourself what, what you want this business to do for you. Just imagine, you know, if you had an extra thousand dollars a month coming in, a thousand dollars a month coming in, what, I mean, just imagine what could you do with that money? Um, you know, if you had an extra you know, $500 a month coming in. If you had an extra 20000 a month coming in, what could you do with that money? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll find something to do. You know, the people who go, money's not important. If you had it coming in, you know, we get paid Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you had it coming in, would it be important then? <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, we're going to talk to some people. We're going to talk to some more winners. Um, I, 
I am grateful to have these people on the call because look, it's it's nothing like winning with other people. Like you can win by yourself, but if you start winning with other people, um, I mean, that's just make the experience. So last year we all went to Paris. Oh, super amazing. Um, you get the you get the experience. Um, you know, just living a luxury life. And we were there for seven days. So it it was, you know, 37 year old kid from Detroit, Michigan. And I was actually at a hotel that was like a thousand dollars a night. James Earl Jones was there. Will Smith was there. Like different people were there. And it was just like, uh, I think, I think Bill Gates was there as well. And it's just like, we, we got to experience that. Like you actually got to walk outside and stay where you want to go. And there's a man in white gloves. He just snapped his fingers. And then a, a taxi cab will pull up. Like, who lives like that? So we're going to kind of talk to some winners on the call uh, who, who's able to experience that and just kind of tell, tell a little something about this. So we're going to start with Evan Pastor. Uh, Evan Pastor just came on. I think he's been there about, I think he's been there here a couple of years. He just came on. He just shot to the top. And that young, young man is just killing the game. And uh, so, Evan, are you able to unmute yourself? And, hey, hey Jeremy, you? can you hear me loud and clear, buddy? I can hear you loud and clear, buddy. All righty, man. All righty, man. Hey, I'm going to move my – I feel like y'all are looking up my nose. <laughs> I ain't scared. I don't want to distract nobody. How about that? All right, cool. Hey, uh, Jeremy, man, it's been, a, it's been an honor uh, and a pleasure to work alongside you, man. You are a, a motivation to the team, the, the Alliance family, um, and I'm grateful that you asked me to be on the call, man. Um, it's, it's always an honor to share my story and a little bit of the trials and tribulations that I've gone through to get to where I am today. Um, and like, I always look up to you, man, your inspiration to the Davies nation and the Alliance family. So thank you for having me on the call. Uh, but, but everybody that's listening, my name's Evan Patzer, um, 27 years old. I had to think about that. I thought I was still 26. Um, <laughs> uh, I started in the Alliance. Uh, I was hired by, uh, Michael Frederick and, um, director Ed Soto here in the, uh, in the Alliance uh, team here, I was um, actually living out in um, Las Vegas, Nevada at the time when I came in. And um, I moved back home to Columbus, Ohio, because I was going through some hardships before I got started with this. I was broke, disgusted, and busted. I was looking for a place that I, like Jeremiko said, I wanted to play on a winning team. I was looking for a group of people that had my back. And um, they really had a system in place that allowed me to thrive ethically and reach my fullest potential. I was, I was struggling, trying to make it big in the real estate industry, uh, out in uh, Las Vegas and in California, um, going through all kinds of stuff. Um, my credit got destroyed, um, you know, car repossessed, you know, everything you could think of that one would not want to have was happening to me when I was out there trying to make it big. And it's just such an, an honor. So back in November of 2017, when I got introduced to the Alliance, I flew back home to Columbus, Ohio, where I'm from, and I met Andy Albright. He was doing a meeting. Um, that guy was crazy. I, I, I'll be honest. Uh, I had no idea what he was talking about when I met him, but all, all I knew was I liked him. I knew he was a man with a mission. He was somebody I could follow. Um, and I could see his heart when he was talking. And, and so I immediately at that point decided this is a place where I wanted to be, not only because there's an incredible opportunity to generate income, uh, but this is a place that that allows you to be a part of something bigger than yourself. And I saw that pretty quickly um, with the leaders in the Alliance, like Jeremiko and some of the other folks you're going to see talking here uh, today. Uh, my first year uh, wasn't super easy, but I did win an all expense paid trip to Paris. Got to hang out with Jeremiko and Billy Crane and Mia Fennell. Uh, I got to take my mama. She had never been out to Europe. So she was really excited about that. Um, you've, you've got to come in. If you're going to do this thing, you've got to come in and just go to work because if you just go to work, like you do at your job, then you will win an all expense paid trip at the Alliance. And you may have traveled to some places, but there is nothing like traveling with the Alliance. First of all, you don't pay for anything. I mean, it's, it's amazing, but you get to participate in, and share those experiences with people you really value and trust and appreciate and look up to. And so having that experience, luxury experience with your team is you just can't describe it. You just got to go. So I got to do that. I did earn my first trip, um, you know, and progressively growing, growing the team and growing the, um, the book of business with, uh, with clientele and, 
you know, this year projected uh, Jeremico to make over two hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. This is my fired up, you know, just this little guy. I mean, I was the best Uber driver. I did real. I did everything you could think of. There's nothing special about me. But like Jeremico said, we've got a system that if you follow it, you follow the eight steps to success. Um, and you do all that, you can just copy, duplicate what already works for other people and make that happen for you. So I don't want to take up a bunch of more time, uh, but I'm grateful to be on the call and um, we're, we're having fun, man. We're making money. We're making a difference. So thanks, Jeremy. If you have any more questions for me, let me know. Yeah, you're muted. You're muted. We can't hear you, buddy. You're muted. Oh, yeah. I know. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. We're perfect Amen. here at the Alliance, but we make it fun. <laughs> Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. All right. So uh, thanks a lot, Evan. All right. So who we have up next? Uh, Miss Mia Fennell. Uh, Mia is in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, absolutely killing the game. And I had to have her on to light us up this morning, well, this afternoon. So I appreciate you being on here, Mia. So tell them something. Hey, Jeremico. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thank you so much for having me on the call. Um, so proud of you. Killed the plan. Awesome. Awesome. You did a great job. And you're killing it in the business. So we're proud of you, Jeremiko. So, um, but hey, guys, my name is Mia Fennell. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I have been a part of the Alliance. I got started as I'm a single female, no kids. Um, when I first came to the business, um, I, had, I was coming out of corporate America so any of you corporate people out there, if you're looking and you're like, oh, I need a salary job. I need to keep my income up. I went from corporate to straight from that into um, full, full on commissions. And um, just to give a little bit of background on my story, I graduated from North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University in Greensboro, North Carolina, um, majored in business, got a degree in supply chain management. Um, and went straight into a company called Georgia Pacific. That's a big company. A lot of you probably know what that is. Um, I became a, a manager, moved up pretty quick. By the age 23 years old, I was managing tens of millions of dollars for that company. And I had a lot of responsibility and was doing, you know, was on a good corporate track and had what most people would call a great job. Um, but for me, I was looking for more. I was, you know, had seen so many people that was in the cycle of, you know, working, waking up every day, working, doing something that they kind of like, or, eh, you know, it's okay, but if these are family, I didn't want to go down that route. I just knew that there was something so much more than going to a job, working hard for somebody else and building their dreams. So when I was in college, um, <clears throat> one of my friends actually told me about a network marketing company called World Ventures. And World Ventures was my first exposure to entrepreneurship, um, building your dreams and chasing after something that you want. And I got started with it and I started building my team. We had about, I had about 400 people come in under me in that organization. And I was really, really fired up, right? We were having a great time. We were traveling, but we weren't making any money. <laughs> so I still had to keep my corporate job. Uh, it was crazy. Um, but one, one day in October of 2016, um, I got up the courage to quit my job and just work on my full-time business on the, my, my part-time business became a full-time business. That didn't go too well. <laughs> I had just bought a house, Jeremy, so, and, um, and I was bold enough to do that. But, you know, the thing about me is I just knew that I had to figure out something that was going to work. So I did have to go back to corporate America for a short stint. Um, I worked at Bank of America once I moved here to Charlotte, North Carolina. And, you know, it was another situation like I had before. I had a good job, but it was, I was sitting in a cubicle and I was miserable every single day going, doing something, building somebody else's in income. So for me, um, I got laid off uh, from that job the same time I was coming out of a really bad um, relationship. And I, I was just begging God for something different. Um, and I remember getting a phone call. I was standing in my kitchen and I got a phone call from a friend of mine who said, hey, I don't know if you know this, but our friends, Terry and Tia Edwards, they're doing something with insurance. They're having fun. They're making money. They're riding on jets. And I was like, man, I don't care what it is. I need a job. I need money. 
<laughs> and I need to be put in. So I immediately called them up and that, that's when they told me about the Alliance. And I am so grateful that Terry and Tia told me about this company. Um, my life has completely changed. You know, I went from working for somebody else, uh, chasing their dream to now working fully for myself. I have a team. I also went to Paris uh, with Jeremiko and, and um, Evan last year. We had a ball. Uh, won another trip for this year. Been in Toronto for free with the company. Um, I used to make thirty two hundred, a little over thirty two hundred dollars in my old job a month. I was a contractor, um, and now Jeremiko, I mean, I'm making that in a week. You know, more than that in a week. So it's <laughs> it's um it's it's crazy. All I would say is, if you want if you want something bigger, this is a place you can do it. Um, Andy Albright has designed this company so that, you know, our dreams, all of our dreams, no matter how big or small they are, they can fit within the dream that he has for this company. Um, we are so blessed to be a part of a team that they don't, it doesn't matter what color you are, your background, where you come from, who your mom and daddy is. All that matters here is work. If you put in the work, you will reap the re you will reap the reward. So thank you so much, Jeremiko, for having me on this call and getting the opportunity <laughs> to share my story. I hope that helped and stay blessed. It Be absolutely, healthy. it absolutely <laughs> did. Thank you so much, Mia. We appreciate you. Sure thing. <laughs> you represent you represent for the single black women. Stop watching these Tyler Perry movies. Talk to Mia for nails. She 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 represent the real single black woman right there. All right, I love it. I love it. Don't let Tyler Perry dictate your your narrative. All right, who we got up next? Uh, let's do Carrie. Carrie Williams from Ohio. Can you hear me, Carrie? Carrie, are you on? Okay, okay, we'll come back to Carrie. Let's see, Billy. Can you hear me? Oh. I can. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I got you, brother. What's going on, brother? <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, Billy Crane um, from Detroit, Michigan, direct to that man, the myth, the legend himself, Jeremiko Edwards. So I am a, a product of the system of how great it works when you hire someone and, you know, help train them and develop them. And so uh, just truly appreciative of our friendship. Um, thank you for Stephen and Andy our bigger leaders who've, uh, you know, just set the path and, and, and went through a lot of the, the woods and cut down the big trees. So that way we now we can walk through an easier path. Not saying that the path is easy. It's just easier. Um, so to my friends on here, man, I love you guys. Like uh, this, this, this opportunity is awesome. I'm just trying to put myself in the new person's shoes, listening to this and saying like, okay, well, how can I maybe inspire you and make you understand like this is truly real. Um, like Jeremiko, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I went to that great state school of Michigan State University. Me and yours is just real long. Ours is just MSU. It's like three, three letters. Like, I don't even know what you said. Um, but I graduated in uh, 2004 with my degree in merchandise and management. 38. So my story is I'm the guy with the wife and kids. So my wife actually seen the business first. Her name is Ada. Uh, she couldn't be here with us at the moment. We got two boys, 11 and 5, uh, Justin and Lorenzo. And... Um, we're the family where she was in, in, in the hospital field, radiology to be exact. She was making anywhere between 50 and 70,000 a year. I come from the fitness industry. I ran LA fitnesses for about nine years where I was making anywhere between 60 and 80,000 a year. So we were that family making that hundred thousand plus a year. Um, but we still found ourselves broke. And then more importantly, we didn't have time. I mean, if you think about it, like here's some of our bills. If you don't have kids, you just may not understand this, but, our rent, because we had an apartment, was 1000 When you got two kids, you pay $200 a week to send them to some type of school or, you know, some type of daycare. So there's $800 a week. I'm sorry, a month per kid. There's $1,600 that we're spending every month just to have somebody babysit or the private school that we wanted to send them to. Not talking about car notes and, and auto insurance. And if you live in Michigan, we got the highest auto insurance out of any other place. Um, I want to go where uh, Carrie is in Ohio because they got that good insurance. But um, needless to say, we were just making money. We 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 were still not having uh, financial success. So, like, if you looked at our bank account, you would not see in a family that made over a hundred thousand dollars. And um, I, I just tell everybody out there, like, if you have kids, if you don't have kids, 
Uh, life is going to come and it's not going to stop. Like there's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, there's going to be ebbs and there's going to be flows. I mean, none of us, I think when 2020 started, imagine that we'll be in a pandemic right now. And I say all that to say this business just gives you an opportunity that when you go through some of the low points in life, you don't have to go through them financially. Like I know firsthand, like most of the uh, headaches and stress that most people come across besides health, it really revolves around money. When you look at the divorce rate, they say most people get divorced because of what? Finances. Well, most people have frustrations is because of what? Finances. They're not paying their bills. I mean, most people, they work a nine to five. And, and what happens is because they're so frustrated, they just go party Saturday and Sunday or Friday and Saturday to drown away the pains of Monday through Friday. And then Sunday is the worst dreaded day of the week. Um, and, and this business just gives you the opportunity, whether you do it sometimes, part time or full time, to make an extra income. Like, I'll give you guys just a, a simple example. Just yesterday, I was on the phone. It was a referral to a friend that I knew. She got a policy for her family. We was on the phone about an hour and a half helping her set it up. And that policy uh, has got approved today, and it will deposit $1,100 in my account on Friday. Right? And, and I just say that to say, like, just one family, for the average person at $1,100 or $500 that Jeremy Eagle said, or even $300 for that matter, I mean, I just know it'll make a difference. I know when me and my wife had our corporate jobs, if you would have gave us three or 400 bucks a week extra, I mean, we would have been like, whoo! Like, I mean, the, the energy and the excitement we would have would just be enormous. And I, I'm just really trying to connect with you on the, as much as I can on a real life level to let you know, like, we are no different than you guys. Like, we still have struggles. We still have uh, uh, critical conversations as a couple. Um, our kids are still eating me out of a house and home right now with them being home. I mean, these kids, y'all, I, I thought they ate twice at school and here they want to eat four times plus three snacks. I mean, you got to make money just to be able to afford the snacks. It's crazy. Um, but we're just crazy excited. I mean, everybody on the call, um, it's, it's just been awesome to hear you guys' story. Jeremiko, what you did, just trying to explain the whole opportunity to people has been incredible. Uh, anything that any of us can do, I promise you we're here to help. I remember the first time I met Carrie, she came up to Michigan to see Andy Albright, her and her husband. And I thought they were like, like they were like legends in my eyes because I just heard the name like, oh, the Williams. And, you know, they they instantly gave me their card and their phone number and was like, anything you need, I, you know, feel free to give me a call. And then just even a few months ago, we were all in Houston. And I think we both were up like at six in the morning in a print shop, just printing up some leaves or something like that. I don't even know what we we're doing. But it was just good just to see her face again and catch up. And, I mean, that's just the opportunity. I mean, me and Mia and my wife are, like, best friends. She texted me the other day, like, is your butt sore for me kicking it? So I got some comeback for you, Mia. Uh, Evan called me the other day, gave me some tips and pointers. I mean, it's just truly, truly a family. And like you said, man, there's nothing like traveling the world with your best friends and your family. So um, I'm Billy Crane. My wife, Ada Crane, our two boys, Justin and Renzo. Um, if y'all got some extra snacks, my address is two for no, um, <laughs> you can send them to us, but I love you guys. Anything we can do, we're here for you, but thanks, Jeremy. Go. Appreciate you, Billy. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, all right. So, uh, last up, last but definitely not least, uh, Mrs. Carrie Williams. What you got going on for us, Carrie? <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah. Got I, me? Uh, oh, man. Can you hear me? I was, I was panicking, Carrie. <laughs> well, I'm fired up just to be asked on this call. I'm I'm fired up to be around Jeremiko and Billy Crane and Mia Fennell and Evan Patzer. These are big winners. These are awesome people. And what's interesting that maybe some of our guests don't know is everybody's from all over the United States. Like Jeremiko's sitting in Detroit. I'm in near Cleveland, Ohio, and Billy's in Detroit, and Mia's in, I think, North Carolina, if I got that right, I hope, and Evan's in Columbus. The point is, we make friends all over the United States, and it's amazing, because we can call any one of these awesome people and get help anytime we need it. And just like Jeremiko asking me on this call, I'm Carrie Williams, along with my husband, Mike Williams. We're out of Cleveland, Ohio. We've been here about going on nine years, going on 10, actually, in September. And, guys, I wouldn't be here or stay here if this wasn't the best opportunity there is. Because, believe it or not, I've been in sales. I've worked for Christian Dior. I've worked for Nordstrom. My husband was with Progressive Insurance for 18 years. 
we could have stayed with those jobs, but guess what? They were jobs. I was making money for someone else. How nice is it to come in and work for yourself? If you work as hard as you do for that corporation, you're going to make money here and you're going to be able to take care of your family. We've been on seven trips so far, Aruba. We went to Rome with you, Jeremico. Remember, we were at the Vatican. Um, we've been to Greece. We've been, oh my gosh, there's just so many. And there's more trips coming up and you don't have to be that millionaire person to win these trips or, or earn these trips essentially so you can still earn it we have part-timers earn these i think billy crane got it in like a couple months same with evan so i just want to tell you if i could give someone new a piece of advice when you come on please listen to the person that brought you in or your or their growing upline whoever their manager is because they're not going to um you know, steer you wrong. And we have a system. And if you follow the system, you are going to be successful. And guess what else? If you don't quit, you're going to be successful. I didn't follow the system for the first six months I was here. And I kept going to these meetings and going, why is everybody writing 4,000, 3,000 a week? And I'm doing 500 and 100 or zero. And my manager pulled me aside and said, Carrie, stop doing what you're doing and follow the system. And the minute I did that, I tripled my sales and it's been up since then. And if an old lady like me can keep, keep up with these youngins like Jeremiko and Evan and Mia and Billy, all of you can do this. I have no doubt. So is there anything else you want me to cover? Jeremiko, I think that's probably about it right there, huh? <laughs> you killed the carry. You killed the carry. I, I, I appreciate it. All right. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you're doing. And please follow Jeremiko. He knows what he's doing. He's been here a long time. Everybody on this call has something to give. And I'm from a different agency than Jeremiko. And yet we help each other out. You're not going to find that in many places. That's a huge, huge thing here. We all help each other out, whether I'm in his team or a different team. Right, Jeremiko? That's right. I love, I love the Williams. Right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll hand it back anything. to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anything I can do to help anybody on this yeah. call, uh, just let me know. So this is our system. Everybody, get a license. If you do not have a license, please get a license. Um, it is boring to get the license. Once you get the license, that's where the fun starts. So let's get after it. If you already got a license, it's hard to get appointed. Listen to me. We are deemed essential. What we do is important. People need us out there. I go out with I go out with that mindset every day. People need us. This is important. Um, I, I don't know what my clients do without me, but you I hope you have that mindset too. I don't know what my clients would do without me. That's my mindset. So come join us, come help us, come travel the world with us. Um, you got good leadership here, you got good leads here. We make a bunch of money. Make money, have fun, make a difference. That's our motto, all right? So uh, sign up fast, come join us. And, uh, we will see you at the top, we'll see you on these trips, all right? All right.